Here is your latest African news. Tanzania. Tanzanian inventor unveils locally made electric car. Tanzanian inventor Masud Kipanya yesterday officially unveiled the country's first locally made electric car. Kipanya, known for his satirical cartoons, say the electric car was his own creative idea which took him 11 months to complete. The environmentally friendly electric car's brand name is KP Motor which prides itself as a light but functional vehicle that is good for the environment, affordable and reliable. Democratic Republic of Congo Deadly violence in a national park allegedly funded by Germany Rangers at the Kahosi Biega National Park in the Democratic Republic of Congo have been accused of great violence including rape and murder of indigenous Batwa people who are believed to be descendants of the original rainforest inhabitants with the aim of driving them out of their home. Known as the last reserve of the eastern lowland gorillas in the world, the park has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1980 and largely funded by the German government. Expelled from their land in 1976, six years after the park was established, the Batwa community have only since experienced conflict and violence. NGOs have documented that since 2019, there have been targeted attacks on the Batwa, houses burned to the ground, gang rapes and killings. According to witnesses, the alleged perpetrators of these atrocities are the park rangers and Congolese soldiers and it's greatly believed that the systematic terror campaign that is chasing the original inhabitants out of their land is allegedly financed by Germany aid funds. The most important donor to the national park is the German government. On behalf of the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development and in close cooperation with the German Corporation for International Cooperation, the Credit Institute for Reconstruction is financing projects in six nature reserves in Congo. One of them is in the Kahosi Biega National Park. Since 2008, a total of 72 million has been dispersed according to minority rights group. Donors have been informed about the violent attacks against the Batwa in 2019 but nothing has been done by the national government to address and battle the situation. Madagascar Madagascar freezes the price of essential products. In response to the soaring prices of certain commodities, the Malagasy government has now frozen the prices of several essential products such as sugar, flour, rice, oil, gas, and cement. The products mostly imported will now be available at lower rates in order to curb the price hike. The COVID-19 crisis and now the war in Ukraine pose great difficulties for transit workers. The prices of fuel but also the basic necessities are soaring on the stock markets. The FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, estimates that this inflation is only just beginning. It believes that soaring energy costs and therefore maritime freight costs will cause the cost of food products to soar. Vulnerable countries dependent on exports and imports such as Madagascar are threatened with an unprecedented food crisis. Seashells Seashells forges ahead in fight against marine plastic. National Action Plan under discussion Seashells Environment Department is developing a national action plan to identify key sources, pathways, hotspots and impacts of plastic pollution including microplastics in the island nation. Key partners who will be involved in the project met last week to share knowledge on marine litter and plastic pollution. Learn more about action plans for a global perspective and discuss existing information gaps in seashells. The cumulative hazards and direct impact of marine plastics already contribute to an estimated $500 billion to $2.5 billion in marine ecoservices per year globally. The action plan will also enable the island nation to make better decisions when tackling the issues of plastic waste management as it will have available data to help make better decisions, she added. Seashells has put in place many measures to address the problem of marine litter. These include the solid waste management system, regular beach cleaning by private contractors, recycling programs for pet plastic bottles and aluminum cans, as well as a ban on the use of single-use plastic bags, takeaway boxes and plastic straws. Nigeria Blasphemy Kanu Court sentenced atheists to 24 years in prison. Kano State High Court has sentenced an atheist Mubarak Bala to 24 years imprisonment after he reportedly pleaded guilty to an 18-count charge of blasphemy leveled against him by the Kano State Government. Mr. Bala, who is the president of the Humanist Association of Nigeria, was arrested at his home in Kaduna State on April 28, 2020 over his Facebook post considered to be critical of Prophet Muhammad and Islam. The post reportedly caused outrage among the people in many parts of northern Nigeria who are predominantly Muslim. Mr. Bala was subsequently arrested following the petition by a lawyer, S.S. Omar, and other Islamic clerics and transferred to Kanu State. He was then held for two years without charges and with whereabouts unknown to his family and lawyer. On April 5th, the suspect appeared before Judge Farouk Lawan of Kanu High Court 4 and pleaded guilty to all the 18 counts he was charged with. Thanks for watching. 
We have great news. Tunacheki, Kunda Kids and Nala have partnered together to bring you Mawo and the Gardens of Plenty, our first African children's book for free. Nala is a money transfer app that uses the latest technology and works with local communities to make payments as hassle-free as possible. The easy-to-use app allows anyone to quickly send money from the UK to Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Ghana, with many other African countries and currencies coming soon, at the lowest rates available. To get a free copy of Mawo and the Gardens of Plenty for yourself, family or friends, download the Nala app, use the code KUNDAKIDS and make a transfer of as little as one pound. For those in the US, you can download the app and RSVP for your free book coming next month. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. And remember, Africa is watching.